You guys may have noticed that miners and hog riders, AKA the hybrid strategy, are kind of dominating at every town hall level that they're available in Clash of Clans. We're talking about Tunnel 10, 11, 12, and 13. The question is, why? What makes it so strong? Why does it work so well? And we're diving into all that today. What is up my friends, my name is Echo and welcome back to the channel, a channel where we regularly feature Clash of Clans, where I bring you daily mobile gaming videos and where we make videos that just don't suck. And I am welcoming you here, thank you for coming. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for daily Clash and or mobile gaming videos, sometimes even two videos a day. That's pretty cool. But we're looking at hybrid today, guys, and I want you in the comments section below to let me know if you use hybrid, and if not, what strategies are you using, and at what town hall level are you using them? Also, my goal for this video is 500 likes in the first 24 hours. If we can get there, I'll give you a virtual high five. Not yet, we gotta wait until we see if we get there, but check it out guys. We're gonna start some things up. Notice the composition is gonna be starting out with five healers for that queen walk, no matter what town hall level. We also have that Coco Loon coming in, actually two of them, very, very smart. All of those traps, which would have attacked our healers, were taken out by those balloons. Air mines, they are brutal. Air bombs, the queen can take care of like she just did right there. But queen charge is part of the reason why this strategy is so strong. If you have a high level queen or at least a fair level queen and you practice charging or walking with your queen, you know, you can really direct the pathing of your attacks. In this attack right here, we have JC Lightning out of the Scrappy Wizards. He's gonna be able to take out the town hall itself just with that queen walk. So pretty nice value he's gonna get. Then you're gonna be using your king for funneling. You're gonna be seeing that big boy come on in in a moment. There he is coming on in gonna be heading down to the south the queen she should head up north because she's gonna be pathing towards the buildings and the structures that are closest to her and that's going on right now now the cool thing about hybrid that makes it more unique than anything else is you have a combination of troops you have both miners that can go after anything and you have those hog rides which are only gonna go after the defenses so when they storm through a base you have the hogs picking away the defenses. The miners can be helping with those defenses or cleaning up everything around it. Plus, these troops, they all use the same spell for support, which is that heal spell. So when you're dropping a heal, you're actually helping all of those troops that really do well with the heal. Now, you could also direct pathing beautifully, like I said. 32% of the base is already taken out right here, and the hogs and miners haven't even started their way around the base just yet. They are still yet to go. You got a siege barrack that's down here and what you're really doing no matter what town hall level 10 11 12 or 13 and i have examples of every single one here today you're doing the same thing the main job is the same narrow down the base take out any clan castle troops with the queen walk try and take out a hero or two with the queen walk as well then get your king for funneling a siege barrack in as well if you can and then you're going to be dropping in your miners and hogs killing them along the narrow portion of what's left of the base. And in this case, it's from down south all the way to up north. There's not a ton left. A nice number of heal spells are there to help keep these troops up, both the miners and the hog riders. And you know, you have even all those wizards coming through. You can see them right over here. They just got struck with that giant bomb, sadly, but they're always able to come through and clean up the back end of the attack. When the hog riders leave, if the miners didn't clean it up, the wizards definitely can. Now, another great thing that you just saw happen in this attack that happens very often is the healer transfer. That means the queen will either die or the healers will jump off the queen once the queen and the miners and hogs come together and start healing up those hog riders, the miners, the troops in the attack. And you can get massive value from that type of a healer transfer. Honestly, this is a, a strategy just made in heaven. It is perfect in almost every way. Now let's take a look at the same strategy, but a Town Hall 11 example. A little bit different in the uh, in the troop composition. We have an Electro Dragon here, just gonna be used for funneling. And notice we have Frankenweenie coming in with the E-Drag, but the balloon first for that funneling. Notice also there was a balloon in the eastern side of the base, that Coconut Loon. In both cases, the balloon's job was to make sure that there were no bombs or mines in the way to take out those healers. Now check this out. The queen, she's got an uh, Inferno Dragon. Toasted. 
goes down like nothing. Rage up the queen as well. Whenever you're investing in a queen walker, a queen charge, you don't want the queen to go down. You don't want to have to prematurely use her ability either. So you definitely want to make sure that you drop the rage spells on the queen and the healers. Honestly, it's more important to get her on the healers and make sure the queen stays up that you really don't have to prematurely use that ability. Now the difference between town all 10 and town all 11 is one eagle artillery. You don't want to start things out too fast because after you drop in a certain number of troops on the base, you're going to start to have the eagle artillery rain down. That is a uh, recipe for disaster. You don't want that raining down on all your hogs and miners unless they're being supported along the way. So make sure that things are going right before you drop in too many troops and activate that eagle artillery. Notice we have the king in the siege barracks yet again. Now this time around with the hogs and miners, the grand warden support is going to be there giving them that eternal tome and vulnerability as well as giving them that buff. That's right, guys. They're getting a buff. They're even stronger when they're within the circle, the aura of all of that Grand Warden. And that's a pretty wide aura. Now, the ability was used a little bit early right there, but still able to keep a few troops up as the Eagle did rain down. Queen took down the Eagle. Queen is working hard to stay up. My goodness, she is in good range now. Will she stand through the cannons? It looks like she's not. So maybe... We'll get a little bit of healer transfer yet again. The base is narrowed down like we said last time. This time around though, it's not actually narrowed down as much as it was. Good thing for Frank and Weenie is there is one more heal spell in the composition. You always want to be careful when there's gaps in the base as there are in that compartment. You never know where those giant gaps are going to be hiding giant bombs. And you can see the bomb placements here. Basically, those giant bombs were everywhere where those hogs and miners path. So healing them up, keeping the Grand Warden's Eternal Tome ability for the perfect time is really just the way to go. You got to be ready. You got to be safe. Click the heal. Hover your finger. When you see a giant bomb, tap it down and take out, well, actually, utilize the heal spell in perfect timing to keep everything up. So let's jump on over to Town Hall 12, where we have JC Hurricane coming in with the same strategy. Many things are the same, including the five healers for the Queen Walk. Notice this is not, actually, it is going to be a Queen Charge. There's going to be eight wall breakers in the comp, and they're going to be coming in right here. you got to be careful of single target Inferno Towers. This Queen could go down to that Inferno, but look at this. Nice job with the Rage and the Freeze. Playing it safe, making sure that the Queen doesn't die to the Inferno Tower. Because remember, sometimes with that single Inferno, the Queen won't even pop her ability. She will just go down. And speaking of Queen, look at that nice Ice Queen um, skin that JC is rocking right there. We all know that he used Code Echo to get that skin. And if you don't use Code Echo, well, consider it. It's a wise choice, guys. But the Queen, she's going to deal with that King right now. Level 50 King against a level 65 Queen with Healers and with Rage. We know who's going to win that battle. Now, here we go with a... Oh, look at this. They have an Ice Golem, Inferno Dragon, and Balloons. Let's get another Freeze spell on that. Actually, the Queen was able to take it down. Wow, I thought the Queen was going to have some trouble there. Now, this is the first Town Hall level where things change again. Now, we have a Town Hall that's actually a defense. So the Hog Riders can now take down the Town Hall as well as the Miners. In the past, the Hogs would just pass right on through. Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 10. The Town Hall itself is not a defense. But now we have the Giga Tesla, but we also have the Giga Bomb, which will devastate your Hog Riders after the attack is done, after the Town Hall goes down. Where the Miners, they will dip underneath that Town Hall and they won't actually be struck by the Giga Bomb. Queen getting massive value right here. The Hogs and Miners are going to path all the way up to the north. They may go off track a little bit towards the eastern side, but they have that Queen support who has her ability, which is a big deal. Another nice job with that heal spell right on top of the bomb tower. Because remember, when the bomb tower is destroyed, it does drop a giant bomb under. And, uh, well, that could take out a lot of Miners and Hogs. A lot of times, though, the Miners will be able to dip underneath, but not all the time, guys. So you got to make sure that you're prepared. A heal spell is a great way to prepare yourself to make sure that your Hogs and Miners stay up underneath those giant bombs or any giant bomb sections or bomb towers or things like that. But, man, that's been three solid examples. But now we're going to take it over to Town Hall 13, which is the hardest town hall level to attack that's arguable i guess but it's pretty hard but look at this the queen's ability is still intact in this one right now and one builder's hut in the corner the miners seem to leave it behind but they got it now for the triple jc hurricane bringing it in <coughs> i held that sneeze for like 10 seconds 
And on our final attack, we have JC Typhoon. It looks like JC got quite the highlight here, and I guess that he also really likes the hybrid strategy. Some people are also calling the hybrid the Miho, the minor hog attack. Like we said though, guys, the attack strategy is very similar all the way around. Notice there is one headhunter in this composition, two rage spells, two heal spells, actually an extra rage spell on the CC, two freeze and one poison spell. Now, what we're getting here at Town Hall 13 on defense is we have that extra Inferno Tower, we have two Scatter Shots, we have the Giga Inferno now instead of the Giga Tesla, and we still have that Giga Bomb. So really the Town Hall doesn't change things too much, but it's those Scatter Shots. They are a game changer in Clash of Clans. They are devastating on defense. You need to use those free spells on them or a Grand Warden's ability, or you can go on in with your Queen and you could take that out before you even send in that next phase of the attack. So that Headhunter is dropped in. Notice the King slowed on his attack. The Queen right there, she's doing all right. Headhunter trying to get a shot off on that, oh man, on that champion. Got one shot just to slow her down. Now also notice JC is dropping his king and then dropping the siege barrack. The reason for this, if you drop the siege barrack first and it's in range of any defenses, the barracks itself will be targeted and it will go down more quickly in the end be uh, using or having less wi wizards, not miners, less wizards come out of the siege barrack. So make sure you tank for your siege barrack or drop it far enough away from defenses so it's not targeted. You don't want to short yourself on those wizards. Now we have the Hog Riders max level coming on out. Hog Riders going through the core of the base from the north all the way down towards the south. They're on the Eagle. There's one more heal. There's one more freeze. And there's one single target Inferno, which is where you're going to want to save the freeze for. Actually, there's so many miners right there. I guess JC figured he could just go right on in there, take them out, not have to even worry about the Inferno. To be honest, this may, may be one of the most dominant attacks that we saw in all of today's videos. And it was against the hardest, or I should say the strongest Town Hall level, being Town Hall 13. Hybrid is OP, but JC is also OP. And the way that you become OP is through friendly challenges. Make sure you get repetition on these attacks so when it's wartime, it's go time. So no matter what your Town Hall level is, as long as you've unlocked those miners at Town Hall 10, you are golden for hybrid. Probably, probably one of the strongest strategies right now in Clash of Clans overall. If you haven't given it a try, don't dig in your heels, guys. You gotta give it a shot. And you also have to remember to use code ECHO whenever you purchase anything in the game. It's simple, guys, and it costs you nothing more. Also, if you wanna support me, you can consider becoming a member on YouTube. It goes from $2 to 25 per month. It's obviously just optional. You get rewards for becoming a member, including emotes, including badges, including movie nights, and including me coming to your clan, depending on the level that you are. You can do that through the membership link in the description of this video, or there should be a, you know, what is it called? Uh, membership button somewhere on the channel. You can find it if you want. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned hybrid. Hope you try it. Hope you sound it off. And I hope we get to 500 likes for that high five. Have a great day, guys. And be good.